Hey, everybody. Welcome to Behind the Mic. I am Nina Taylor. Today, my very special guest is one of the most talented brothers I have met in a long, long time. His name is DJ Mac Cummings. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. <laughs> Thank you for having me on this wonderful platform. So All excited. right. <laughs> well, tell everybody about yourself. Now, what you do is so unique, and you are the first one that I've ever heard doing it and you do it better than anyone else a lot of people are trying to pick it up on their radio stations and and in the uh the little uh christian clubs but nobody does it like you do he is a mixologist that's what i call it what do you call it <laughs> uh, man, i call it turntable minister <laughs> turntable minister <laughs> yeah, that's what i call it yeah. <laughs> that's awesome well see yeah. that's unique as well that's unique as well but how did you get started in music and and the unique thing is that you only do gospel music now or yes, is it kind all, of all, all gospel only. Okay. Okay. So how'd you get started with this whole thing and, you know, the idea of it? And, and I want you to also tell everybody, what was it like when people first found out what you were doing? It was a challenge when people <laughs> found out what I was doing. Yeah. Because they were used to me um, doing secular. Yeah. And I tell people, you know, secular was good. I don't have anything against yeah. people who listen or DJs who play secular music, but I just feel like right now what I'm doing is better than anything that I ever done in my life. Yes. So, uh, but to get to your question, yeah, I began this journey in uh, 1993. I was mm -hmm. DJing um, secular music, uh, went to the nightclub for like 12 years of my life. I did that. Mm -hmm. And I kept getting this um, funny feeling after events. Really? I didn't ask for it because I can remember previously uh, I didn't like gospel music. I had to go and um, do my job, you know, as a DJ in the club, yes. you know, make you know, make my money, and mm -hmm. um, that that was my main goal, my main objective. So um, to just fast forward it uh, to let you know exactly how everything just began. It was those funny feelings I used to have once mm -hmm. I got done DJing the party. Mm -hmm. And one night um, I came home and TBN was was on the TV. And I knew before I, every time I did a party, I turned everything off in my house. So yeah, I was yeah. like, wait a minute, what's going on? So <laughs> I get home and my TV on, the TBN was on. And mm -hmm. it seemed like um, that was a confirmation, mm -hmm. giving me the opportunity to realize that something bigger than me. It's mm -hmm. taking control of my life. Yes. And eventually um, I, I, I submitted and it was like, okay, now it's time to do this. And um, it, it, it kept being a burden to me. Mm -hmm. I was like, what is going on? Mm -hmm. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm going to say this what I was saying to God, okay? Yes, I was like, yes. God, yes. leave me alone, okay? <laughs> I am not doing anything wrong. Hey, the, yeah. the music that I'm playing, I'm, yeah. I'm eating the flesh, I'm making people drink, I'm making people do whatever they need to do. Mm -hmm. uh, they're having a good time. What am I doing wrong? And mm -hmm. conviction began to hit me immediately. And so yeah. um, as time you know, went on, it made sense to me. So mm -hmm. God was saying, I want you to begin to feed people's spirits. Mm -hmm. And I want you to allow them to realize that, you know, it can be fun. You can have a good time, you know, without drinking, without fighting, without sex, without anything that feeds the flesh. You can have fun with that same type of music, but change it over and glorify God. But um, that was um, a part of um, how everything got started. Mm -hmm. uh, but just to let you know, that was in 2008 yes. when... Mm -hmm. I did my transformation. So wow. mm -hmm. I was still hard headed though, right? So oh, yeah. Yeah. I was going back and forth, mm -hmm. uh, doing the gospel and doing secular, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I always come up with this scripture. It's just something meaningful to me. It's, it, it gives me hope, it gives me strength. Is that uh, that's in the book of Matthew 6, chapter 24, verse. I always talk about it. It says, No man can serve two masters. If he mm -hmm. love one, he hate the other. No man can serve God in money. Mammon, yeah. that's what he says in the Greek terminology. But mm -hmm. I was doing both of them. Um, it had to be the both. So um, 2011 is when I surrendered. 
And so from 2011 up until right now, all mm -hmm. I do, all I do is gospel. Inspiration. Mm -hmm. I call it inspirational gospel dance music. Yes. That's, that's what I would like the people to do, the masses, mm -hmm. to get up, dance, have a good time, mm -hmm. feed your spirit, and <laughs> just tell God thank you. So that's that's my long story. I tried to make it short, but I couldn't. So that's the question. That's, that's the awesome. That's awesome. Well, where are some of the places that you've been that you've been able to go? Because I know people call you to come and do like private parties. How does that work out? Oh yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I've been all over the country uh, doing mm -hmm. doing venues um, on, on the sectors. I I've been uh, New York, um, San Francisco, uh, Houston, mm -hmm. Dallas. I I've been I've been so many places. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when it comes down to that, so mm -hmm. yeah, it's 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 really good. And and like I said, that's my main objective right now. I just mm -hmm. pray that people can um, call me get in touch with uh, my um what i'm doing as a dj inspirational gospel dj mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i don't play any secular music and i think that's the catch to so yeah. many yes and I, I i pray that they just give me an opportunity mm -hmm. allow me to come to their city town country or community and let me mix the gospel up give them that turntable ministry mm -hmm. in, but the very best. So that's that's my <laughs> book. So that's that's what I really wish. But yeah, I'd have been all over the country when it comes to DJing. Um, mm -hmm. DJ. Yeah. Now, where do you get the music from? Because I know you do have your own radio station as well. So you probably get a lot of people sending you music. But I always check out your mixes whenever you post any up or anything. I definitely am, you know, one of your biggest fans. Um, you play a lot of stuff that I've never heard. And I think I get a lot of stuff. So <laughs> yeah. you, you know, I, I People send me like music. I probably mm -hmm. listen to probably 200 to 250 songs mm -hmm. uh, a week. Yeah. And I just began to like pick one or two that I feel that'll be a value mm -hmm. to the genre. Because right now people don't listen to gospel, you know, as just as well as they listen to secular or whatever. So I want to mm -hmm. bring that attention to the whole community. The gospel mm -hmm. community to just wake up. It's not you crossing the line or you trying to go to that side and this side. It's all about giving people something to be inspired, mm -hmm. inspiration. So the music that I choose is uh, is my preference, I guess. So mm -hmm. it's inspirational music. So I get it from um, different artists that send me their uh, their music. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I've heard some stuff and I've called you. I'm like, what is that? I need that. What is that? You know, what is that song? Yeah. So you do. So you're getting music from, from artists from all over the world, I, I would imagine. Yeah. Now, do yeah. you do uh, anything like Caribbean music? Um, anything from Well, Africa? you know, just represent yeah. Jesus Christ. If it represents mm -hmm. Jesus Christ in the words, it's on profound and it allows mm -hmm. people um, to uh, minister to their spirit, most definitely. Mm -hmm. I'm not mm -hmm. discriminating um, any genre. When it comes mm -hmm. to the gospel of Jesus Christ, so yeah, mm -hmm. if they have Caribbean gospel, I'm on it, and I can't wait to be able to explore <laughs> that opportunity because yeah. I never, you know, had a chance to explore that. So yeah, mm -hmm. that'd be something like a dream come true. So if you have any uh, Caribbean artists, just let me know and let me see what I can do. Yeah, I absolutely, so, yeah, but, have but, a bunch. All right. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, I would love to do a Caribbean gospel mix. That'd be so. Yeah, yeah, that would be something. <laughs> Now, what about uh, when you go, when you're like at a place, because I was at an event that you were, you were all set up and I was like, they got a DJ? I mean, what's what's going on? You know, <laughs> I heard people saying this as we were coming into the event. So are people like surprised or what do they think? Do they think you're going to be, you know, stepping and sliding? I mean, what do they think? You know, it's yeah, just... <laughs> I, I most definitely when they see a DJ automatically, they're ready to uh, feed mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Go straight to the point. Yeah, they, 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 that's the first thing that they do. Uh -huh, uh, uh -huh. Yeah, so it, it's a challenge. Yeah. Because right now, today in 2023, a lot of people still don't understand when I say inspirational gospel DJ, gospel DJ. Because they haven't heard of it. They don't it's know what still, it is. <laughs> it's still like uh, invisible. It's still mm -hmm. invisible to so many people. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they know, but they don't, they don't want to know, you know, because. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I don't know the reason, but my opinion is that when 
a person see a DJ at a mm. at a public venue, yeah, automatically think you're getting ready to play some uh, some mm -hmm. circular music, you know, yeah, they get up on the dance floor and mm -hmm. dance, and they feel like if you gospel, oh my God, you about to play something to make them cry, you about to make. <laughs> something boring you about to make something feel you know conviction and stuff like that and so mm -hmm. they just i just feel like right now the opportunity is mm -hmm. everything and and that's all i ask the people so if you're watching right now just mm -hmm. give me an opportunity allow mm -hmm. me to come to your city town country your community mm -hmm. and give you the i call it the turntable ministry for yes. a reason mm -hmm. i'm ministering the music on my mm -hmm. turntable and yeah. I want you to just enjoy it. So, yeah, to sum it up, they do. It's a challenge. <laughs> so what can we do? What can we do to present it? I know you you do a lot on social media. I mean, what can we do to, to open people's eyes up, to open them up to uh, to trying it? Just make it as a domino effect. Um, mm -hmm. Allow one person to see, allow one person to hear, mm -hmm. and just let it go off and just let it do what it do. You know, mm -hmm. let the Lord do his work. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to bring a genuine um, attitude, a genuine um, type of professionalism mm -hmm. to my craft as a DJ. And the only thing yeah. I want you all to do is just allow somebody to hear a mm -hmm. mix that I create. They can go over to YouTube. You know, I got a lot of mixes on there. Yeah. So there's so many opportunities. Or they can just type my name in, DJ Matt mm -hmm. Cummings. Um, mm -hmm. They just type it. They'll see all the mixes I created thus far. I think I made a. I think I created over hundred mixes already. So, mm -hmm. oh wow! So I'm still just doing mm -hmm. what I need to do because I feel like that it is growing and I feel like it's glowing. And I think yeah. that the masses just need to know that my desire is to be a beacon light to as many as I can, especially DJs. You yeah. know, afraid to say, okay, I'm gonna DJ some gospel. Because, like I said, the capital is not there. The revenue is most definitely has not ever been created. So mm -hmm. they feel like they're not going to make any money. That's that's a big reason, you know, why this thing is yeah. kind of going through the bypass, you know. Mm -hmm. But go back to um, where I feel like people get a chance to hear what I'm doing mm -hmm. and begin to share what mm -hmm. I got going on. Um, just give me a chance. Go over to YouTube once again. Listen to one of my mixes. And mm -hmm. um, I feel like if that happened, it's going to be a phenomenal day. I can't wait for it to happen. I was excited. <laughs> I was excited. So that, that's what I got going, yes. Okay. So how can people connect with you? How can they get in touch with DJ Matt Cummings, the turntable minister, for oh, their wow. next event? <laughs> okay, cool. Hey, you know, it's so simple now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My name has a trademark, so my name is Trey. Yeah. So I'm so excited about That's that. That's awesome. That's awesome. Congratulations. DJ Mac Cummins, the turntable minister. If they just put in DJ Mac Cummins on their mm -hmm. Google web browser or mm -hmm. whichever one they use, yes, they can pop up and they can get in touch with me. That name is all me. So mm -hmm. just type the name in Facebook, <laughs> Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, mm -hmm. uh, YouTube. Whatever their preference, just type in DJ Mac Cummins mm -hmm. and let's connect. And mm -hmm. we just pray for the best because I know All it's right. coming. Yeah. All right. Well, you are awesome. Like I said, I'm I'm in your top five biggest fans. I appreciate you coming on the show today. Remember his name, DJ Mac Cummings, the turntable minister. Thanks for being on the show today. Thank you. All right. God bless you all. Have a good one. <laughs> all right.